You're watching Marketing Midday, brought to you by Rival Mind, a results-driven digital marketing agency. It's Monday, December 19th, and these are the headlines. First up, do you leverage behavioral science in your B2B marketing? Evidence shows that B2B professionals rely on social proof, aka what others are doing, despite believing they are rational buyers. Second, did you know brands cannot use popular music in TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts without explicit permission, even if the music is available in the app? And finally, a new study from HubSpot found that only 42% of marketers know the basic demographic information of their target audiences, like age, gender, and location. Those are our top three headlines of the week. A deeper dive into each of these stories coming up next. I'm Matt, thank you for watching Marketing Midday, your source for the latest digital marketing news. Behavioral biases are present not only in consumers, but also in professionals when making buying decisions for their companies. Marketing Week explored the effects social proof, aka seeing what others are doing, has on professionals. In a study designed to reduce antibiotic prescriptions, medical practices were split into multiple groups. Some received an educational letter, others received an educational letter and data comparing their use of antibiotics with other medical practices, and still others also received a graph to illustrate the comparison. The doctors who received the data and the graph reduced antibiotic prescriptions by the highest rate, showing that even in the medical field where doctors are not supposed to consider anything other than medical evidence, social proof changed their actions. B2C marketers have long used behavioral science to market to consumers, but this evidence suggests that B2B marketers could leverage behavioral science in their marketing strategies. According to social media today, brands cannot use popular music in TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts even if the music is available to them in the app's post-creation tool. Business accounts can only use the commercial music that is available to them, and if they want to use any music or sounds beyond that, they need to obtain the appropriate commercial license. Energy drink company Bang has learned this the hard way. Apparently, their account was set up as a personal profile on TikTok, and they used popular songs and sounds which garnered lawsuits from all three of the major US record labels. A federal judge ruled in favor of the labels in two of those cases. Is your brand using popular songs and sounds for short form video? If so, stop to protect yourself from possible lawsuits. In a recent study conducted by HubSpot, only 42% of marketers knew basic demographic information about their target audience like age, gender, and location. Less than half of marketers knew their audience's interests and hobbies, shopping habits, and the products they are interested in buying. And it keeps getting worse. Only one fourth of marketers knew the social causes their target audience cares about, which is a huge missed opportunity for expressing brand values when marketing to Gen Z and millennials. The challenge for many marketers is new data privacy measures. The best thing marketers can do to improve their data strategy is to gather first party information and keep the data fresh. Those are our top three stories of the week. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram to stay up to date. Thank you for watching Marketing Midday. Tune in next Monday for the latest digital marketing news.